Hey. Hey. <laughs> so what's going on? <laughs> I thought I thought How you had I thought you had the intro. I am. This is the intro. It, it's the intro is you saying hey. Yeah. Why not? What okay. do you want? You want to be like welcome to the podcast? Well, I I listen to a fair I, amount of podcasts. I'm not you, formal. You're not formal. Okay. You're yeah. you're hopping on the I'm informal to- podcast band camp. I'm totes cash. Okay. All right. You what, what were you gonna say? We listen to a lot of podcast. You listen to a lot of podcasts. You list, I listen to a fair amount of podcasts. Yeah. You are like nonstop podcast. Totes. And and you're you're a forty one year old woman saying totes. Welcome to the unholy matrimony podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, me, Randy. Rand, Randy P. Pool. In my early forties. Yes. Very early forties. Did I say forty one? I meant twenty nine. Fresh forties. Um, married to you. Yes. Court, Court Johnson, Johnson mm-hmm. also in your fresh forties, but not as fr- not as fresher. You actually, you are more fresh than I. Yeah, am. I am fresher. I don't know which by was by like twenty seven days. Um, we're married. We've been married for far too long. Yeah, we're coming up on fourteen, 14 years. Fourteen years. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that you. There's no gift for that. The gift of more patience. All right, I'm going to write this down. <laughs> I don't know. No the, anniversary the gift. The gift of tuning me out more. You know, one thing, I, I'm just going to put this out there at the beginning. One thing I really appreciate you mm-hmm. as my spouse, as mm-hmm. my partner. I'm feeling emotional today. I might cry. Just FYI. Okay. Uh, <laughs> is um, is that uh, after, I think after we maybe four or five years in, and especially after the dating, there was no longer an expectation from you okay. to make anniversaries super special. Was there an expectation originally? I well, I I to be I, honest when with we were you, dating there was expectations. Yeah, maybe. To be honest with you, we spent our first for you for a few years of marriage pregnant anyway. Right. I think there were other priorities. Sure. Okay. So that, that probably has a, had a lot to do with and it. And now honestly, we've talked about this about Christmas too. Don't buy me anything cuz I buy the things that I want specifically. Right. You know, I mean, you did knock it out of the ballpark with Christmas with the AirPods. Seriously, like that was the big win, right? Right. Um, no, that was that was uh, probably the best I'm ever going to get. <laughs> so just take that for what it's worth. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I am I too loud for you? No, I've I gave you because I'm oh, nice. The, I gave you the nice headphones. Oh, I see? have the crappy ones. And There's my anniversary gift right there. There we go. All right, man. I'm, Check. You're done. I'm done. Um. Anyway, I don't know what we were talking about, but uh, we've been married a long time. I don't. I have no expectations, Court, other than you know. If you could drive my kids back and forth to things. I try to do that as much as possible. You do that way more than I do, honestly. I'm just saying that that expectation continues. Sure. Okay. All right. Well, if you can do that, if that's what makes you happy, it really does. All right. So, yeah. So the, the podcast, this is actually something you and I have been talking about for some time. Well, you know, we've been in radio forever, the mm-hmm. two of us. And yeah. there was a time where we were both on the air Um, and then, you know, you basically ran a morning show. Let's be real. Right. Yeah. And so when your co-hosts were out, I would come in, come in. Yeah. So we've always kind of had that dynamic and we, sure. Somebody asked me the other day with the new podcast, will there be, will there be things off the table? And I said, honestly, when we've been on the air together, there's never really been anything off the table quote, you know, we're we're an open book. I got no secrets. I mean, maybe a couple. Sure. (laughs) Ooh, I'm saying challenge accepted. (laughs) Um, but yeah, I think we've been, we're fairly, I feel like we have a good rapport when it comes to these things. I would, I would hope that you and I as married people (laughs) have a good rapport and some might say some chemistry. (laughs) You know, there are couples out there that don't. It's going to be one of my topics today. Oh, really? Well, a couples, little bit. Couples that don't no, have chemistry? No, 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 no. Just a piece All of All right. It. Well, I want to get your take on something here real quick. Okay. We, uh, because today, breaking news, you might have heard this. You probably got the CNN text alert. Uh, earlier this morning, that Jeff Bezos, yes, founder of Amazon, and his wife of 25 years have announced their divorce. I know. Okay, so I saw that. Yeah. And um, the first thing I thought was, he's probably never home, right? Right. But I just finished an article that talked about, he was like, here's how I balance my life. I don't leave the house until 10 o'clock after I've taken the kids to school and I make them breakfast. And da, 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 da. So I don't know what the problem is. Should we like... Well, I, what? I, for me, I, it's it would be way too hard for you and I as outsiders who are nobody to him or pretty much anybody who doesn't know them like personally right. to be able to say, this is why the, that didn't work out. 
whether he worked too much, he was running this multi-billion dollar corporation that grew like crazy. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I think it's way too easy because the fact is 50% of all marriages end in divorce. divorce so yeah. we, sh- we shouldn't be shocked by that. For me, it's the fact that he is worth $130 billion. <laughs> I forgot you mentioned this. $130 billion. And um, now I, he's I, not. Now he's now. Well, I the, or is he seven sixty five? Do they split it? I'm not sure how Washington State settles. If I don't know if it's a fifty fifty state, but but I, I was listening to um, a couple of different radio shows this morning. One was the Dan Patrick show. Yeah. They were talking about this, and it was completely one sided in the fact that that um, you know that money he earned that money. How much is she going to get out of it? And I'm sitting there thinking oh, to myself. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, they've been together for 25 years. Yeah. She supported him when yes. this company was nothing. Yes. She is, I, I think she has everything just as much to do with the success as Amazon. Absolutely. As he does. Absolutely. Because we've been there where, where, where we, I was just kids gonna, came along. Yes. You didn't work. Yes. We moved here to Portland, Oregon. I didn't work. Yes. Um, you, you make those sacrifices to, to make things work. And so this idea that it's his $130 no. billion dollars is, is just baffling to me. But I was reading, I think, CNN Money. They're, they're talking about the money technically is in his name, That's which is why everybody just easily says he's worth that. It's like, no, the couple is worth that much. Yeah, no, I think I, I was thinking the same thing that you were, that um, she may have been home with the kids, but she was making up for so many things that he wasn't able to do because he was completely focused on getting this this company off the ground. Right. So, absolutely, like no, she gets half of it, which I think is sixty five million. Yeah, sixty five right? million. So the 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 world's not, richest people list is going to come out next year, and instantly there's a tie. Right. For right. One of, I don't know what number he'll be. He's not going to miss sixty five million dollars. But that, but that's if they decide to do it that way. Right. Like if if she ta- if she takes that's if his I think he has like sixteen percent share. That's what he owns in Amazon, which makes up the hundred and thirty billion. Yeah. That's if he gives the eight the eight percent share to her, and then she is worth that. Or if they come up with some other sort of if he buys her out. Does she cancel her Prime account? <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> No like, one. Go- like no, she, the like answer she has is one. Well, I don't know. The answer is no. Prime one. for life. Yeah, you got prime for life. You're good. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe that's her her parting gift. I don't know. Yeah. No. It'll it'll be, it'll be interesting to watch. It sounds like they've been separated for some time. So it's like, oh, so this is just finally the they're finally the nail they're just kind of like all right. This is what we need to do. So well, so yeah. I mean, I don't know. That that sucks. But um, the other thing about it is. We, it's going to be completely money focused because it's money focused for me because we don't really know anything about these two. Like we, Jeff Bezos for the first time ever, like two years ago showed up in one of the Amazon commercials. Cause before that he's just been the man right. behind the curtain. We don't, we don't have a relationship with him. Like we might other big rich people like Warren Buffett or, or if Oprah left Stedman or something. What? Sure. Well, that's my, that's your, that's your equivalent. Yes. No, sure. Okay. I guess so. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think they're going to be a, okay. I think they have enough resources, um, right. And enough support around. It'll probably be, it'll probably be the biggest, whatever it is, the biggest divorce payout or settlement. I hate to say payout because she's not being paid out. These are mutual assets. And how old are their kids? Like he, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know how that works when you're that rich. I honestly, I would love to find out though. It's a complete, right. (laughs) We'll, we'll, We'll work on that. Right. Start selling something out of the garage. For $130 million. Well, he started somewhere. That's right. all I'm saying. Okay. So, yeah, okay. All right. I was just interested to see what you would uh, take on that. Yeah. Um, I saw it and I just thought, I wonder. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I, I did what everybody did. What happened? What was the, the situation? But I'm sure he worked nonstop, even though he is saying, I balanced it with this and that. Maybe he did. But you don't, I just don't, I don't know if you can get a zillion dollar company off the ground by not working every single minute of every day. I right. don't know. Sure. Maybe you can. Well, he, 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 like, he saw the future of that, of like society becoming lazier and lazier and not wanting to go to the store. Oh, so, and he nailed it. Yeah. So, I mean, we're guilty. Yep. Yeah, by that, I mean, you're guilty. Oh my gosh. I do, I do what we call, um, you know, tipsy priming, where I've had a couple glasses of wine and I'm on prime going, well, I need this, I need that. And then it comes and I'm like, who ordered this? Right. It was me. By the way, that's a nice uh, coffee maker you got there the other day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's so great. We can yeah. talk about that later. Sure. 
All right. You want me to give you my hot topic? Uh, sure. Hot take. Hot take from Randy. No, um, it's kind of a hot topic, but um, I was thinking about this the other day. Do you think you've ever been so mad at me? And answer this honestly, and there's no judgments, that okay. you've wanted to kill me. That I've won- <laughs> won- no. Because, really? No. Because, really? Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me, let me, have you ever been so mad at me that you've wanted to kill me? I've wanted, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to like seriously maim you. <laughs> I don't want like I don't want the what? after effects of it. Like I don't want to have to like take care of you because you, I've maimed you. But but. So you would, well, yeah. Then then don't maim me. Go for the full kill because then you can get the the insurance no, policy. No, I was and you're thinking about this life. the other day. The the one time of my life, okay. the, the the phase of my life that I wanted to just oh kill was, me. Yes, when, when, okay. the, when the girls were babies. And um, they would wake up in the middle of the night, yeah. and you would sleep soundly through it. Okay, well let's let's uh, paint a broader picture here. I was doing a, a morning, morning show, show on the radio, and I w- had to be up like at four a.m. Yeah, but we had kids together. I didn't have them by myself. Yeah, but you were so I would wake were... up with this crying baby, and you'd be out like a light. <laughs> Okay. And I would want to stab you in the chest so bad. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to kill him. Right. I'm going to, first, I'm going to punch you in the face so you're awake when I stab you because yeah. I wanted you to be aware of it. Sure. I you didn't, you didn't want me to go silently in the night. <laughs> no. You wanted me to know that you were, hey, oh, wake I was up. so mad. I'm going to stab you. And the reason I brought that up is because we have been currently listening to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, not together, but we've been con- concurrently. We've both been, we've, yeah, yeah, sure. The Cold Podcast, which is the Josh Powell podcast um, through KSL, a radio station in Salt Lake, yeah. the in, in, investigative. It's a, um, yeah, it's an, like a, it's a, I don't want to say, a, a, what would you call it? A cold case? Yeah. In cause, depth. Because he killed his wife. Right. And so, Allegedly. Yeah, right. And so I, I was thinking, I'm like, well, have I ever been so angry that I wanted to kill Court? Yes. The answer is yes. But I think his was so completely premeditated. Mine was just, mine's not. Mine's just out of emotional I'm, anger at the moment at 3 a.m. Probably the best thing about our debut episode of Unholy Matrimony is that I now have uh, recorded evidence. That of, I wanted to kill you. That you wanted to kill me if, in fact, I You're ever. If I ever show up dead somewhere, listeners of said of this podcast, only if look it's, at Randy. Only if it's a stab, stab wound to the chest, in apparently. your chest in our bed. Yeah, right. <laughs> but they're old enough now that nobody wakes up during the night, and if they do, I literally just go go back to sleep. Right now, now you're the one ignoring them. It's me getting up with with them. <laughs> right. Well, really, you're not even getting up with them. You get up with the dog. That poor dog. <laughs> that poor dog. That poor me. Yeah, I know. He's he's got a lot of issues. Yeah, no. Um, I I, I as I think back. It's it, it, when you hear those stories, I, I, I can't, I can't, I, there are a, certain circumstances fathom. where I can fathom murdering somebody where like somebody okay. did something to our kids. Yeah. That's something where I can actually have, have a process go through my mind of if that happened, I would, I would do this. I don't you know. You haven't if, been so angry where you've wanted to just like beat the crap out of me? No, never. I think you're lying. I, mean, I think I, you're full of. I mean, I've, I've definitely had my. Anger, angry times. I've <laughs> broken a cell phone or two. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. But, Back in the early days nev- of Court and never, Randy. But never would I, never ever. No. I think you're full of it. No. I that, think everybody gets to a point where they just want to like beat the crap out of somebody. <laughs> I, I, you're 100% alone in, <laughs> uh, on that portion. Okay. When it comes to that. Just, yeah. No. I, I, can't, I can't even think. I'm just trying to think of. All the horrible things you've done, if they ever reached the level. If of, it ever sparked you uh, to uh, want to. For me to become murderous. Yeah. Nope. All right. Well. Yeah. To be continued, I guess. I suppose. Uh, let's segue here into uh, a feature, Randy, that I think we should call, What the Hell Did the Kids Just Say? Okay. <laughs> All right, so the other night, let me paint the picture. The other night, I think you're cleaning the kitchen. I'm doing something dumb on my phone. Mm-hmm. Sloane's sitting, I think, at the, the counter doing homework or something. Yeah. And she says, what? Well, she said, why are the Kardashians famous? Yeah. And I was silent. Right. Because I was like, oh, what do we do? Yeah. 
And I said, without missing a beat, really. Right. Well, be, and and be, and because honestly, I I don't think of Kim Kardashian as the leaked porn Kim Kardashian. I don't think of her that way. You just should call it. It was a sex tape. Well, okay. <laughs> Well, you can find it on. You're like you can find it on porn funny, channels. Duddy, I don't know what to call it. It's sex tape. Yeah. So, but, but, but I, but the only reason why we really care anymore is because they, they're the Kardashians, that's, right? They've that's had ultimately what led to the sex tape is that her dad was OJ's lawyer, and then her mom remarried mm-hmm. Bruce Jenner, mm-hmm. Caitlyn Jenner. Mm-hmm. Is that not right? Well, I, I felt I felt very. Accurate in my. It's so what did you say? It wasn't. It wasn't. I, I was not responding and deflecting. I said, "Oh, it's because she has. They have fam- a famous dad. They have a famous dad. Is what you and said. that could apply to either, um, to their real or, dad, yeah. that died, or uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Right. Um, you know, I was. I don't know if that's completely accurate. What I recall happening, E was n- kind of newish, and she was dating Nick Lachey, and she was touted as a closet organizer, and she was organizing Paris Hilton's closet oh. during the Simple Life, I believe. I could have my timelines wrong. Anyway, and she be- got on E um, because of her closet. My eyes have organ- just glazed over. Right, I know. I all of this is foreign. I'm, I'm speaking Latin to you now. Sure. Um. Anyway, and and so she was on E for organizing closets and. They were kind of trying to get this company off the ground, blah, 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 blah. And who was more famous at the time was Ray J, mm. Brandy's brother. Right. Who she did The this other guy in this porn. Thing. Um, and so it was more of a, I think, Ray J sex tape at first. Right. And then how the turntables turned. I'm joking. How the tables turned. Because then it became more about Kim because Ray J doesn't really have a career anymore. Right. So I think that... That's how it started, but I'm not a hundred percent. Aren't I, you glad you have that information? I, I'm glad I am, and I'm glad you didn't take the time to explain that to Sloan because she right. would have been like, "What? <laughs> I know their dad's famous." No, uh, their dad was famous, so yeah, um, I think that's a good because even if you went down that route, well, their um, close friend who they called Uncle OJ killed his wife. I mean, then you'd have to go. Sure. So either way, you try to go. There's no right. There's no great answer. Right on the spectrum of their history, yeah. you're, there's no great answer. You're right. right. So, and then you know, y- if you want to get into the, all the Kanye stuff, oh boy, you got to have a couple hours to explain that. Well, it, what was interesting to me about that is that, and and Sloan, I think, is our intellectual. She oh my thinks gosh. about things, yeah. and then she thinks about them in different avenues. But like she, she's totally like probably every other ten year old into YouTube and into YouTubers. She's told me times before where she would like to be a YouTuber. Yeah. She has a channel. Yeah. And, um, but it, it just kind of struck me as interesting that she would actually think, why is that person famous? Because the majority of people on YouTube, they're not famous. They just decided to do a channel. And I'm good All for them. All for it. Yeah. All Go for, for it. it. I mean, everybody should have a podcast, We're right? We're doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I know. She's so funny that she, she's just so inquisitive about things. So I, I used to keep a list of, of, odd questions she asked and I can't find it but I remember one was how is a seed made right I was like I don't know my mind is blown I have no idea well she I don't think she doesn't ask us as many questions as I think we used to ask our parents because I will occasionally go through her phone as a good parent should yeah I know I'm and look to see what she's been googling <laughs> google searching and she'll <laughs> oh my gosh what is it uh, well both of our daughters google their own names all the time <laughs> And then they Google both of us. They do. I know that. I know and then us. they, but they, if they have any questions, they're, they're Googling it. I mean, it's, it's baffling because we, you know, we either had to ask our parents or go to the library and look it up in the encyclopedias. Yeah. Yeah. So. My, how times have changed. Yeah. You just ask uh, Google and yeah. you do it on your phone. You don't need, you don't need your parents anymore. Nope. M- unless you want money. Right. So. All right. Time for what court did wrong. So to break this down, this is a segment where you explain what I did wrong. Right. So you said today, this week. This week. Yeah. I think it's going to have to be this week. Um, I don't have enough time to like think about today. I mean, today alone. I'm, just, I'm thinking right now, how could you have anything to share with, with us? How do you have any, how do you have something to talk about? You know, um, in the big picture of things, 
I think we've talked about how I always, first of all, I'm trying to get away from having a script already written in my head that you should be following that I have not shared with you. Uh, right? For the for Like, oh, just in general? Yeah, yeah, just in general. But I already have a script. Oh, no, you, you'll, you will often say, hey, go do this. And then you'll start saying, and tell them da, 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 da. Oh, well, that's Is different. that the kind of script you no, mean? No, like no, no. where I'm supposed to make a phone call and then you're telling me the exact words <laughs> no, to no, say, no, no, no. The specific- to which I say, could you just write this down and I'll read it verbatim? The, okay, the best, the best example of that, when you completely went off on me, was when we were in the um, drive through line for In-N-Out Burger uh, and I said, could you ask for extra napkins? And then we start to like roll up and I said, just say... You know, hey, can we get some extra? <laughs> and I'm giving you like the exact, the exact line. Yeah. Line. <laughs> I don't do anything without looking at Randy and saying line. Um, and you, yeah, you've got all over me for that. Um, no, I mean that like I have expectations already in my head on the script of our family for uh, for you to a know, be prepared, do, um, yeah, and be aware. Like, okay, sure. So okay. And I'm trying to get away from that, but. Um, so you're basically saying you're trying to have zero expectations for me. I guess so. Pretty okay. much. All right. Anyway, you were saying? Um, I was saying that really, um, I, okay, it, we've already had this discussion, but I'll just bring it up again, okay? Because you, you love that. And I think it goes back to my script again. Okay. I have a certain way that the laundry is done. Right. But... Some of those are not, some of those are just like normal run of the mill ways of doing laundry. Like if there is a pair of jeans and somebody like one of our daughters has like wadded them up and the legs are all inside, you would pull the legs out. You would remove the underwear. I mean, I know that they're pigs. I know that. But like you would do all of these things. Okay. Yeah. When you do laundry, shit's just thrown into a pile. (laughs) And washed, and then you, I, I'm not really sure what you decide to hang and what you decide not to hang. Because when I go in there, I'm like, half this stuff didn't need to be hung. And the stuff that's in the dryer getting shrunk, it, we're now screwed on. Oh, okay. And this just happened the other day. You hung Qu- Sloan's pink pajamas, which are huge. Okay. and can be dried every single day. I didn't know that. You dried okay. someone's dance leggings. Oh. And I... And then, you know, and then stuff's just hung willy nilly and like Quinn's jeans are like half in, half out leg with underwear still attached, but they're, they're, they've been washed that way. And I'm like, who? Are neither of them clean? Help, help. Because my head's going to explode. And I find myself going from zero to 60 and murder is on my mind. (laughs) I'm just like, I, do you know what I'm saying? I, well, okay. So in my defense. What is your, you have no defense. In my defense. You, you path of least resistance. We, no, no, I, I, in my defense, I decided to take on laundry halfway through last week because it was the weird holiday. Right, right, right. And I was trying to do you a solid because you typically. You don't do me a solid though. It's very, very liquid and soft. Hold on. So you would rather that I not help out at all. With the laundry? With the laundry than to try to just get things moving along. Yes. Okay. Uh, what you could help with is the thousands of clean laundry in the laundry baskets sitting there. Oh, in that's the, the worst room. part. No, that's I refuse. To, folding yeah. laundry is a no go. No one I does mean, it in my house. We're, we're not even going to start that conversation. <laughs> I will fold. I will happily fold my clothes. Yeah. I will reluctantly fold yours. But when it comes to folding, I know you said and Sloan's, the girls are I can't tell own. them uh, that they're. they're I can't tell them you apart most of the time. You can't tell them or me apart. Half my stuff ends up in their drawers and half of theirs ends up in my drawers. They're growing up. I and know. I can't tell. And you suddenly decided to buy our 13-year-old well, underwear from from pink there's by a, Victoria's Secret. There's a reason. And I can't, I don't, I shouldn't, that, <laughs> my hands, no. I, I You I'm, sound I'm not like gonna. your father. Um, well, okay. Um, I don't think, I don't think. She has to to my father's defense. I don't think my dad ever had to fold any sort of underwear from Victoria's Secret. I don't think ever. I don't think your dad did laundry, period. But that's a different topic for a different time. Um, The (laughs) reason she has those seamless all whatever underwear that you can't see is because of the competition Leos they have to wear. She has to have something so skim 
and seamless that doesn't show. And that's, I mean, for me, it's the easiest place to get them. Five for 28. Thank you. Goodbye. Done. Uh, okay. Send your check, please. Victoria's Secret. Right. No, I, I'm just, I'm just saying I, I. It's a little bit funny that you. It's a little bit old school of you to say that. For me to say, uh, the, I, my 13 year old has underwear. Oh my goodness. No, I'm just saying That's I can't really tell them apart. I, I don't know which is wrong, which you is, you which is yours, it, which is, well, I'm just, okay. I'm. Well, she wears smalls and I wear medium. So there's a clue for you. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I'm, I, I. So you would rather me not touch the actual washing part, but when it comes to the folding part. Yeah. Or I think because they are 10 and 13 and they are more than capable, I think what we should start doing is just, well, what I did yesterday was I just separated theirs from ours and I just put the big basket of theirs on their couch downstairs and said, good luck. And and how did it, what does it look look like moving from there? It's still sitting there. Okay, exactly. Yeah. Or, Or if you do actually see it in there, in their drawers it's just thrown in i don't care if it's just thrown in as long as it's you're, put you're away. okay with that yeah well i mean now that i'm completely obsessed with the new maria kondo tidying up on netflix yeah, maria kondo is the uh, japanese tidy oh, tidy consultant she's adorable yeah, where you hug every item and decide whether it brings you joy and if it doesn't let it go well you have to thank it first oh and then discard it so you don't hug it you hold it and uh, if it sparks joy what? i'm in why are you thinking inanimate object, objects? I, I don't... That's the part I don't understand. No, no, no. I don't know the psychology behind it, but I'll tell you that what she does really, like, it must just be a psychological thing. Like, it it will bring harmony into your home. I'm telling you. Because even the tiny bits that I've done, I'm like, wow, that is a complete mind shift for me. Um, it's like it, 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 it's like harmonizing everything, hmm. and so having the organization and the decluttering and the minimizing of all of it, I'm I'm serious. Like, I am I'm a fan. Now I haven't done anything yet. I did <laughs> I did fold your underwear the you other did day. Say, you did, and, and I, you made fun of me. I did not make fun of you. I looked at it and I smiled a little bit and I said, "Oh, you laughed. <laughs> you laughed." I, it might have been more like, <laughs> "Oh, you're you're doing that." All right. Well, anyway, so yes, I want to, I would love to like try a room and do that whole thing because right. the the show is amazing. And I, you know, who knows if those people keep it that way. Um, her house must have nothing in it. I don't know. Right. Um, it's because nothing gives her joy. But I'm afraid other than like going into other people's houses and telling them how to fold stuff. You got to watch it. It's so good. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I'd love to try it though and see if it would work for us. It It takes... So some of those houses, she's there for like, I mean, she doesn't stay the whole time. She comes in and checks on you, gives you an assignment and leaves. Right. It's like a two month long process. And ours would probably be with the amount of of stuff we have. It probably would be something like that. I I don't doubt it at all. It's got to be a, it's got, we, it's got to be an all in decision. You, you need to stop accepting these shipments from your parents. house. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I mean, what would we do without broken candles from my dorm room? Right. Which have been in a box in our garage. No, no, no. I think I tossed that. Oh, you finally did? I think I did. What now, about? well, step two is getting rid of all the cherubs I had. All those little ceramic yeah, they're, angels. They're about little, yeah, and then there's this mystery box that's, I don't even know what it's for, but it's the most strange box. You can't even stack it right in the garage that I'm pretty sure has like. The red triangular box? Y- yes. Oh, I, I think it's old posters. Um, but uh, frankly, you don't have a lot of room to talk. So. I'm, a little more room. No, you've got just as no, but you have a, a, lo- a lot of other things in the in the garage. I have a box, including a bunch of CDs and DVDs that we need to toss. Let's be real. Nobody's gonna burn them onto whatever. Nobody's gonna download them onto whatever. Let's just get rid of them. And if you ever want to hear that B side track from the U two album from fifteen years ago, guess what? You can find it on iTunes. I like. No, you can't. And I've looked. <laughs> you can't. I think you can. Um, yeah. Well, that's uh, got anything else. I mean, what do you got for the week going on? I'm stressed, dude. We have so much going on. No, I'm not stressed at all. I mean, you seem like you have everything under control. <laughs> so uh, pretty looking forward. I mean, week looks great. I'm, you're just, you're just going to chill for the week while pulled, I haven't pulled pork for dinner tonight. I know that you made. Thank you. Yeah, that's what but, I did. but you know what? No, but let's be real. You should not get kudos for making dinner. 
You're the father of this family. Right. Like, I'm good. Sorry. You should have made dinner. I wasn't looking for kudos. You I just know. gave them to I me. Gave and them then to you got mad for giving I, me kudos. I gave them to you and then I took them back. Yeah. You don't get the just, kudos. Just the story Make of my dinner. life. Story of my life. All right. Well. How do you think we did for the first episode? Let's give us a, a grade. I would say, are we doing like a scale of one to 10 or like a letter grade like back when we were in school? Okay. Let's do one to 10. One being the worst, 10 being the best. <sighs> mm. Let's do it at the same time. Okay. All right. On the uh, counting down from three. Okay. All right. Three, mm-hmm. two, mm-hmm. one. Four. Five. Oh. All right. We're not too that far off. Yeah, yeah. I think we have some work to do, but... Um, yeah, we do. Yeah. One of us does. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Or... Or not. I don't know. Hope you don't die before next week. <laughs> where we make out nope